Okay, in the channel update I posted a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that in November, Infinite Crisis would be returning. It's November. And I recorded this at the end of the Halloween event, so we are in Coast City Marina, and I'm playing as Atomic Wonder Woman. And during the Halloween event, all skins are free to use, which is why I'm using the other skin. Here's your intro. Yeah! I love my job! Showtime! Yeah! I'm that good. And here we are in Coast City. For those that aren't aware, this is a two-lane map, kind of like um, Twisted Tree Line from League of Legends, to use as a reference example. Difference is, it's a 5e5 map. You can see that the lanes are on the outskirts, and there's a massive jungle area in the middle. And that's pretty much what sets this apart from the Twisted Tree line. There still are objectives to control, basically your equivalent of the altars, so... You can kind of... ...really compare the two. The thing is, this is a map that's actually intended for a double jungle. So I'm taking Atomic Wonder Woman and my jungle partner is Green Lantern. He asked for the top half, I figured I'd just take the bottom. It is big enough for the both of us, and we can even do some counter jungling to even screw over their side. Anyway, the call was made to invade, so I'm rushing to try to catch up with my teammates. You can see we have Joker there, um, I think that's Zatanna, I think it's her 52 skin. And there's yours truly. And I can mention, Atomic Wonder Woman is one of the characters I picked up during the downtime, the other one being Atomic Green Lantern, who will be featured alongside this video, since these Coast City seconds. games are either really short or we really stomp them that bad. So we are going to do some counter jungling and steal this buff, but if you look on the mini-map you will see Joker. He just found some unfriendly guests, one of which being the Atomic Green Lantern. So, right here, I figure, he, did he take his blink? If he took his blink, he'd just get out of there, but he's just getting beat down. So, GL and I have to intervene, taking on Supergirl and the other Green Lantern, and just barely were able to take Supergirl down before bad things happen to Joker. And Joker does a good job in kiting the Green Lantern, so I'm able to claim first blood and a double kill. All in all, it sets me ahead pretty far, it even gives me level 2 much sooner than I actually probably should have gotten it. And, um, yeah, I forgot to go over how Atomic Wonder Woman works. So, she's a resourceless character. If you want to find more detail about her moves, I actually do mouse over it in the previously uploaded video, which is on Gotham Divided. But she's gated by cooldowns alone. That resource bar you see underneath her is her rev. You get a stack of that whenever you land when your chainsaw moves. The Q, W, or E, I don't think the R counts, but I'm could be a bit wrong about that. Um, you get a stack of rev, and once you have two stacks, your next ability will do something extra. So your Q, I don't remember what it's called, but it's an air, it's an ability where you target an area on the ground, Tom Wonder Woman will leap into the air and slam down that area, dealing damage to everything within a certain radius. That's why I started with first, because I wasn't sure what's actually best to start with. I think it's actually her E, but I'm still not totally sure. I have to play her a bit more to confirm that. Anyway, right there, they made a move on my comrade, and I made a move on them. You can see Zatanna and I were pretty good to burst her down. And unfortunately, I think Ivy gets away. She has so many friggin' heals and her own shield that it's just a pain in the ass to deal with her. So right here, I'm doing a mouse over to figure out why I get the best return on. The slow on the E scales with rank, so that's why I decide to opt, why I opt to max next. But going back to your Q, you leap into an area, deals AoE damage. When you have two stacks of rev, you're able to cast the move again a second time, so you can use it as a gap closer, or just extra DPS. The downside by using the second, using your rev on it, is that it only does half damage. Your W is an auto attack modifier, it makes your next auto deal extra damage. Rev effect, I believe, is just even more damage, so if you're dueling someone, that W can really mess them up. Your E is a sweep type move, it's a cone if you ever see me mouse over the cursor. It has the effect of slowing the enemies who are on the edge of the hit, which is pretty much the only CC in Atomic Wonder Woman's kit. 
And that's, like I said a moment ago, the slow does scale with rank, which is why I'm going to be maxing that. It also has like half the cooldown of the Q, so it really helps to put the points into that. You get the best return, I think. And I forgot to mention, the bonus for increasing your, or ranking up your passive is just, when you get two stacks of rev, it lowers the cooldown of your other moves by a small amount, and the amount is what is determined by the rank of your passive. So right there, Gia landed his pull on me, but I managed to get him off the jungle creep, and I'm going to leave that there so it doesn't respawn. He has to come back and clear it at a later date. He's not going to do that right now, because for all he knows, I could still be hovering around the area waiting for him to step out. But I'm going to go ahead and get some counter jungle done. And pick up from where I left off, your ult is the Reclaimer. The best comparison I can give to you for this is kind of like uh, the Nocturne jump when he's using Paranoia. It doesn't actually do the darkness, but you can click just leap over terrain and... It's really the best comparison for the two moves. Power relays will be operating and as far as I know, there was no rev effect with it, so... With that, you just want to use it to close in on someone and secure the kill, or do a last second rescue gank. So, with Supergirl, I can't remember everything about her. I know that her passive makes it so that when she starts auto-attacking, she gets attack speed. So I don't actually want to trade with her, just like to sit there and slug it out with them. Really what happened there, I used Consume on the car for the heal. So what I actually want to do is just do a little bit of damage. Once her passive is stacked up, I want to get the hell out. But right here I have the Green Lantern with me, so I was able to do a little bit more damage. I wanted to try to keep her there, but she backed down. And here is the Capture Point, which is the equivalent of the Altar. I don't remember what it gives you, I think it's just something like bonus credits on a kill when you have one. And they do some pretty nasty things when you get up to three, but I don't think I actually got up to three in this game. I think I did in the Atomic Green Lantern game, so you can go ahead and check that one out if you're really curious. I'm going ahead and upgrade my jungle item to help with my clear, giving me more safety, but as you can tell, I'm actually falling behind in terms of gold and stuff, because I'm actually helping the laners more than actually trying to keep myself afloat. Really, my thought process is the Green Lantern can scale into late game for us. I just need to try to keep our lanes in the green until then. And then Lantern can take over and carry, and worst of worst, I can always just try to farm up in the game. So right there you saw me use Reclaimer. Uh, the arrow goes ahead and picks up the kill on Mecha Wonder Woman. And this time I have helped it pull down Ivy while we kill her. I get the kill here, and these kills are really the only thing keeping me in the game. On Coast City, you do get passive EXP, so if you look at my EXP bar in the bottom left corner, it is going up as we do this. And right here, the Atomic Green Lantern is trying to mount a defense. If you, I'll explain how he works in the other video, but basically, I do not actually want to stick around there because he can deal a lot of damage. So right here, I'm hoping I can try to pick him off from behind, but no such luck. If you're wondering, there should be a pickoff in a little while. I'm not gonna, actually, I think it's right here. So right here is the drone. or It's like a surveillance drone that will roam the area. You get it for capturing the altar. You should be able to see ours moving around on the, or capturing the checkpoint, capture point, whatever the hell it is. And here's the pickoff. So check out Cyborg's health. He just ate the Green Lantern ult. Look, I'm here. I'm safe. Oh, there's a drone. And boom, he's dead. So I went ahead and did a dive. You can see that I'm pretty badly beat up. And I don't actually want to stick around this area because I don't know when some reinforcement will swoop in. Supergirl is in the area, as you can see from the mini-map. She might be able to close in on me. I don't know when she's packing for stolen power. So really, my best option is just get the hell out while I'm still alive. Uh, Zatanna goes ahead and kills Ivy. And right here, there's no one to defend the turret. Supergirl can take those kind of quick due to her passive. So I don't actually want to leave that unattended. Once again, I can try to trade with her in short bursts, but trading too long is bad for my health. So right here, Joker has arrived. He's actually our carry for this lane, so I can go ahead and leave it in his hands. He should have wave clear. And I can go back to try to jungle. Anyway, Raider's coming online in 10 seconds. I believe he appears on the bottom of the map, but I don't actually face him in either video. So if you guys are really interested in what Coast City is like, I could do another video, but really I'm just waiting for... Oh, 
is waiting for Gotham Divided to be uh, re enabled. Anyway, I can go back. I don't really know if there's much incentive to maxing your jungle item, but I went ahead and put some point uh, upgrade Deathstroke's Claymore for the cooldown reduction so I can use Reclaimer and my other moves more often. I went ahead and picked up the Soul Taker Katana so I can get some lifesteal from the jungle that way to be healthier for my ganks. I also help a little bit in trade with Supergirl. And right here I'm trying to figure out, is the Lantern actually in trouble? Because he actually was doing a bit of a number on Supergirl, and I was closing in on him just in case he needed help. Well, lo and behold, there's another Green Lantern. So he takes a jet to the knee, and we can see we just have a little trouble keeping him down. I go ahead and secure the kill, and I end up having to eat his meltdown. And right here you can see his passive proc on me doing the slow and causing me to take radiation sickness damage. As for this, I was hoping we could get the damn tower finally, but... No, Mecha Wonder Woman couldn't make it that easy for us, could she? So right here I'm looking around to see if there's any sort of indicator that they might know I'm here. And I wanted to try to get something on them, but no such luck. With nothing further ado, I just go ahead and take my leave and we'll look for opportunity elsewhere. Doomsday device is activated, that's something in the middle. It causes the. Okay, they're called power relays. Those to unlock so that you can actually take it from the enemies if you secure this from them. And there is some sort of guardian here, it's just I don't deal with it here since I'm alone, and lo and behold, there's their surveillance drone again. So by picking this up, I get the 50 gold, and it also takes away some of their vision, so they aren't safe in their own jungle. Once again, that's a danger for Supergirl and the Green Lantern, since they kind of are afraid of me, even though I'm slowly falling behind. And you can see from the lack of vision, they came here to either go for the middle thing or because they're gunning for me. And from the way the lantern moved, I'm assuming they were gunning for me. They knew I was somewhere in the area, they just didn't know where. But anyway, I take down Mecha Wonder Woman, took down Green Lantern, and right there is Supergirl. And you can see that we just pile on. I ended up tanking her damage, and I used Consume on one of the jungle creep there for the heal to keep me alive. And I'm not actually able to help with the Guardian just because I'm just that badly banged up. So I go ahead and take my leave to heal. With the Guardian down, that should unlock the enemy's altar, and we're able to seize that. So you can see enemy power relay neutralized, my team is moving in to secure it, and I'm making a move on Poison Ivy. And sadly right here, her heals, her shields, all of that actually managed to keep Mecha Wonder Woman alive long enough to kill me, once again symbolizing that I have fallen behind. So Zatanna could have saved me, but it doesn't really matter. We're still securing objectives, and the enemy team is just so far behind that it really doesn't matter. As for this, I don't really know what the advantage of... I don't know if that's Cheetos Claw or that Horus item. There are a couple items I don't think I've ever built that I just don't really know how they work. As for this, I want to get the Soul Taker Katana so I could... I wanted it at rank 3 so I could actually start stacking the passive on it. And I'm looking for other items to pick up because I'm not really sure what build I should go for. I Seems pretty much in most of my videos I end up building for attack damage. Usually the Joe Chill Revolver, the Velocity Rounds, etc, etc. But the enemy team threw in the towel because it was just getting out of hand. And sadly I don't go over the stats, but I did the most amount of attack damage on my team actually a comparable amount to the laners, so those weren't exactly kill steals, but it would have been better to give them to the laners. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.